guys, it's Anna. Bienvenido otra vez a mi canal. If you are new here, what's the haps? Today, as you can tell, I'm sitting on my floor. Well, maybe you didn't, you weren't able to tell. But I'm sitting on my floor. Obviously, this is going to be another one of my TG Maxx and Marshalls hauls. But I did also get a few things from Burlington. So I'm going to show those, I think, first because I didn't get makeup from there. Got the popcorn box. You know how it goes on the channel here. Non makeup items first. So I actually got some clothes because I think I mentioned it before in my videos. I've been looking for shorts to be on trend and my friend in Delaware looked so cute wearing hers. So I was like, now nah, I gotta get shorts to be like her, basically. I found two pairs of shorts from Burlington. The first one was this one. It's just, they're just plain black shorts. I like this one though because it has like pockets. So it's got like regular pockets and then it also has like a little zip pocket. A little cinchy to it, but I don't think I really need that. Um, it's by the brand NYL. NYL Sport. I already took the tags off because I got this a little bit ago. But these were a great price. They were only $7.99. They say comparable value is $9.99. I also got another pair of black shorts because they're easy. But these are by Puma, as you can see with that bright pink Puma action going on there. And then I like these though because the side is like this mesh material. You'll actually be able to like kind of see your skin through it. These were a little bit more pricey for me, but I was like, they're Pumas, so I guess it's worth them. I got these for $12.99 on the tag it says comparable value is $24.99 but on the actual Puma tag it tells a different story on here it says they're originally $30 was their suggested retail price $30 shorts for $12.99 I will take any day these are super cute I'm gonna get more shorts though from Burlington I picked up some more jewelry first I got this little set of rings this is by Jessica McClintock um yeah they're just rings this one came with two different rings it kind of looks like like the wedding ring and the engagement ring this was $5.99 comparable value says it's $10 but I just think this is so cute I'll probably wear it on like my middle finger because it's pretty that way and they like perfectly like sit together which is nice I can't get it off oh. I picked up a pack of like choker necklaces just because they're super affordable there I was gonna say cheap I that's not a good word to use they're affordable inexpensive came with one two three four five different choker necklaces different styles this was only $2.99 for this whole set because I got it marked down usually I only like buy the jewelry there when it's marked down because then it's even more affordable but on this sticker it says they're originally trying to get $5.99 for this and comparable value is $10 now into the TJ Maxx stuff I got some more key sunglasses because duh this one is in the style my girl and again, this is $14.99. It says compare at $25, but we know these are probably like $30, $40, $50, $60 sunglasses. I'm not sure. These are super cute. The only thing about these is I didn't try these on at the store because, you know, I was just grabbing them and going because I know that I want them all. These are actually like too wide for my face, but I thought you could like fix that some kind of way. So I'm going to like hope and pray. It'll mess up my makeup. But so they're kind of wide on my face. So if you know how to fix that, please let me know because... That's gonna be a must have to do. A must. I'm gonna start with some makeup brushes that I'm super excited for. You guys know, ever since I started finding Sigma brushes at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I found some more, so I'm super excited about it. First, I found some of these like loose ones, so they're just in their little packages. This one is more of like a small blender, it looks like. Oh, it's a small tapered blending brush. It says it right there on the box. This is the E45. This one was only $7.99. It says compare it $10. I'm not really sure about that compare price, but I was like, hey, Sigma brushes are always good. And then I picked up this one, which is the E55. It's the E shading brush. I, wow. Oh, is that why it's E? Because it's I and F like face. Makes sense. Again, this was $7.99. It says compare at $10. Then so I got this one. It wasn't in like a little case or anything. They were just like out like this. But this is the Sigma Large Powder Brush. It is the F30. I think I already have one of these that came in a different set that I had gotten already from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. But it's shorter. I think that's what it was when I compared it. It was shorter. I was like, oh my gosh, if I already have this, I'm going to like return it because I don't need it. But this is like a longer handle and then it'll match all of them because it's got the same color. I found a reason to keep it. This one is $14.99. This is compared to $19 and I'm just like, really? Then I found this whole collection of Sigma brushes right here. This is the Sigmax Precision Kit, the Professional Brush Collection. So this has, I think, five different brushes in it. 
Again, you guys know this price hurts me teensy bit. Not as bad as $24.99. But it was $19.99. It says compare it $25. Don't think so. All these different brushes in here. And they just like come out of the little box. Ah, I'm kind of confused. Because there's five brushes in here. And it says the brushes that are included. There should be five brushes. And there's five brushes in here. But so it says the first one that should be in here is the P80. So 80. Because I got two of the same one in this. Okay, I'm not gonna be mad at it, but like that's um, <clears throat> super annoying. So I didn't get the P80. I don't know if it's because it got mixed up like at TJ Maxx because these weren't like sealed up or anything, but that's really weird and I'm annoyed. But it's okay. So I got two of the <laughs> P82 brushes, which is the precision round. I mean, brushes are brushes. It's kind of nice sometimes if you have doubles of things. I at least know that I have doubles of brushes that are like my favorite because I travel sometimes so I'd keep some at home and travel and then you could also use one while the other are being washed you know what I mean so that they have time to dry so I'm not mad I'm not mad I'm a little bit hurt I'm a little salty but I'm not mad then I have the P84 precision angle oh I like this one's like fluffy and like angled P86 which is the precision tapered and then lastly in here, P88, which is the Precision Flat Angled Brush. Something that I've been looking at so many times when I've gone to this TJ Maxx, and finally I was just like, I'm just going to get it because now it's marked down. Peter Thomas Roth, it is the Bye Bye Hair little duo kit. If you guys don't know, you know now that I take all of the little baby hair fuzz off my face, my entire face, because I don't like seeing it. It through my makeup and then it's even worse when you spray like your setting spray it clings to all the little hairs and I hate it so I take all of the hair off my face because it's annoying we're gonna see if this works um, this one was marked down to $10 I have to sneeze but my Alec was like what was that so this was $10 um, is the markdown price they were originally trying to get $19.99 for it I don't know what the original price is so there's the two products so it has the facial hair reducing serum and then there's the removal cream so give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see this in one of my tj maxx and marshall's like testing out stuff because i'm definitely curious i've never tried that obviously so i don't know if it's going to work into the makeup there's not too much this is the smashbox little set of mini lipsticks this is the v legendary matte lipstick i got this for only 7.99 it says compare at 13 dollars but right on the box, they were originally trying to sell this for $22, and they say it's a value of $50, which is weird. I don't know if I checked to make sure all of them are in this, but they come wrapped up. So, oh, they so cute. This really gorgeous red color, like, oh my gosh, these are so cute and small, but the plastic is, like, really thin, not gonna lie. This red is in the color Bing Matte. It's more of, like, a nudish color. It's like, a, it's like a pinky nude called First Time. They're all matte, so I'm not gonna keep saying that. Lastly, you get this really pretty purple color. Ooh, in the color Publicist. So super excited to try these out. Rock for this trip. I got another one of the Alter Ego lipsticks. These I really like. This is in the color Girl Next Door. This was only $3.99 again. It says compare at $7, but I really like these. I love the packaging of them too. I don't know, I just think they're so pretty, but this is just a really pretty pink color. Untouched, unsplotched, always makes my life. You no, know, I had to pick up some Lipstick Queen when I found it. So the first thing is this Vesuvius Liquid Lip. I'm interested in this, which is why I guess I bought it, but intrigued is the word I was looking for. Uh, so this was $4.99. It says compare at $8.50. Yeah, don't think so. This is in the color Vesuvius. To Vesuvian blush this again I was kind of scared about these because I saw some other ones that had the box messed up but this is another one of those like pump ones so you'll be able to tell if someone actually used it if there's like product in there but I guess it's kind of weird too though because people could have touched all over the thing but could you sanitize that with alcohol someone please let me know because like I didn't know how it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be like an actual liquid lip so when I saw some of the boxes messed up I was like oh no 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 I know it's gonna be not a good time and then I got it home and it's a pump one so it's easier to tell if someone like touched on it two of these lipsticks which now I realize they do have like a collection name these are the butterfly whatever set you know they put the stickers all over everything uh, but so this is like that butterfly 
collection, which I guess is supposed to be more of like a sheer color. I got two of them. They were $7.99. They say compare at $13.50. So first one that I got, and this is now my second and third from this collection. This first one is in the color Smitten. And it's just a really pretty pink. But again, these like come off as pretty pale. I think they're more of like a balm. Oh, this one has a little bit more color than the other one that I got. I also got this one in the color Moment. So this is just a deep, ooh, this one's super pretty. It's like a deep berry color, but you can tell there's kind of like a little bit of a, it looks like it has a little bit of a blue reflect, at least on here. I don't know if it's gonna come out when you apply it, but I'm super excited for these. I hope these feel really nice and almost glossy on the lips, which I think is what they're kind of supposed to be like. Ow, my foot is like falling asleep. Lastly, for Lipstick Queen, I picked up another one of these silver screen collections. They literally put the stickers over the whole thing. But I'm just going to take this off now because that's annoying. This was $9.99. It says compare at $17, but we know from the website it's actually compare at $50. This one is in the color Have Paris. Packaging of these are so beautiful. Not only the box, it's like a velvety textured box, but these are like heavy duty lipsticks. So... This is in the color C Paris, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful red color. The last thing, if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you guys should be, because I usually post the stuff that I find on there first because I get super excited that I found it. I picked up the MAC Look in a Box Be Wow Mini Lipstick Set. This was the price that you guys know I loathe. It was $24.99, but I told myself in the store, Anna, I know you. And you're gonna hate yourself if you don't get that and then you never find it again. I would be so upset. Mainly because I like these that they have a different colored like packaging. I love when MAC has the lipsticks that have like the different colored tubes instead of just the classic black. I don't know, I find it cute. And these are mini, so they're extra cute. It says compare price is $35. First one is this red color. This red color, it's almost like a corally red color in Relentlessly Red. And it says on here, this is a matte lipstick. Are they all matte? Is that what it said? I don't know. This more like fuchsia color in here, color No Faux Pas. Yeah, I think they're all matte, but this is in No Faux Pas. And then there is this, ooh, this deeper brown color. And this is in Antique Velvet. And this like, ooh, I love lavender. I love lavender. Uh, this is in the color Dodgy Girl. And last one, it looks like it's gonna be more of a nude. Yep, it is. So this is like a nude color. It's in Nude Du Jour. Which was that nude of the day? <gasps> I know languages. But so that is everything from this TJ Maxx only and Burlington haul. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have found any of these things or if you might still be on the hunt for some of them. Let me know if there's anything that I haven't mentioned yet that you guys have found and you love that I should try out. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed and you guys have already hit the bell to be alerted when I post all of my videos so that you guys don't miss out on anything. And yeah, I love you guys like a lot, but I also love Chick-fil-A, which I'm about to go get. But muchísimas gracias por ver ese video ese video y venir otra vez a mi canal and let me know if you guys want to see any videos in Spanish and I might start doing that too. Sounds like a good idea. Alright. Alright, thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.